Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today's topic is the screen and the screen that is not responsive. So if you are having trouble with a screen that is not responding to your finger uh, taps on the screen, then here are some uh, tips and tricks how to solve this. First of all, as you can see on my iPad right here, I have a screen protector around my iPad to protect it. And that can actually cause sometimes the screen not to respond uh, to the behavior as you expected it to. So when you press uh, on the screen or want to do anything on the screen, the case protector or the screen protector can actually be the problem. So try to take out, if you have a screen protector on your iPad, just simply take it off and try and see if it is working better now. That is a common issue and people don't think that is actually an issue. The next thing is, of course, the screen is something that we touch all the time when we use an iPad. So it is very important that you actually try and clean the screen. So uh, take some uh, wipers or whatever you have available for you and uh, take it on the screen. Simply just turn it off and start cleaning your screen. Take a towel to wipe off all the dirt on your screen and make sure to do it very gentle of course it is a screen and it can be damaged so do it uh, in a general way just to protect your screen but it is very important that you actually clean your screen once in a while to have a responsive screen so that's an easy part and a very simple trick to to clean the screen Next up is that, uh, as I always recommend in my videos, is to restart your device. Simply just do a slide and uh, power off your device and uh, make it a restart. That can cause a lot of problems, not only the screen, but also if you have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or whatever problem, uh, doing a restart of your device is always a good idea. So uh, have a look at that and see if that helps you. If you have anything connected to your device, it could be uh, your charger, your cable down here, then uh, try to uh, disconnect all in, uh, cables or Bluetooth or whatever. So simply just take out the cable and see if that is causing the problem, sometimes the charger can actually be doing some uh, issues with the software and therefore the screen will not respond as you expected it to. So please uh, disconnect any accessories you have connected to your device. Next thing up is to have a look at the iPad itself. If you are sitting in the sun and the iPad gets very warm or you are out in the cold weather, then uh, it can actually cause uh, performing of the iPad not being as expected. So if your iPad is too cold or too warm, the iPad is actually not responding and especially the screen can be very unresponsive in those conditions. So uh, make sure to have a look at that and see if you either need to get out of the sun or go inside if it's too cold outside. Next thing up is to have a look at the storage. So if we go into settings and under the general section in here, we have the iPad storage. And in here you can see how much storage have you used on your iPad. And there should always be some storage left for the iPad to work as expected. So make sure you have at least two to uh, three gigabytes of free space on your de device. Otherwise, you can start to see performance issues and that can also be the screen that is not performing as you expected. It can be very slow when you uh, click or press the screen and therefore it is a good idea always to have a look at your iPad storage. 
Next thing up is to have a look at the accessibility where you are able to wake up your device just by a tap on the screen. So in here we have the wake up functionality and if you go into display and down here display and text size and at the last thing in here at the bottom of the page uh, you can see that we have the auto brightness but that was not what we were looking at right now that was actually tapping to wake up so let's go back in here and have a look at the touch uh, area and in here we have the tap to wake up that was the one we were looking for right now the other one will come just after this one so here we have the tap to wake up you can turn off that specific uh, feature so you will not be able to touch your screen when you power it down you will not be able to tap on the screen and it will wake up so you need to use the power button to wake it up that has been seen as a issue for some screens that this can cause uh, some issues the other thing we were looking at right before was the auto brightness because we sometimes see that the auto brightness for some reason can cause flickering screen uh, unresponsive screen and some uh, weird colors on the screen so uh, make sure to have a look at that so down here as we were display and text size at the bottom auto brightness that is by default turned on try to turn that one off and see if some of the responses get back on your screen next thing in here on the accessibility is the motion in here we have a setting called reduced motion and that can sometimes be turned on so uh, if you have the reduced motion for some reason try to turn that one off uh, so it is not using the reduced motion mode so we'll turn that one off another thing is of course if you use an apple pencil to uh, touch on your screen then uh, sometimes we see that the Apple Pencil is either not having enough power, battery on the pencil, and sometimes it is the Bluetooth connection. So try to go into your Bluetooth and try to reconnect your Apple Pencil uh, in your Bluetooth settings. And of course, an iPad is a lot, of, uh, a lot about uh, different apps. And sometimes we see misbehaving apps and that can be also the reason why you're not able to use your iPad and you think, oh, it's the screen that is the problem. Well, sometimes it is actually misbehaving apps and sometimes it is a good idea to go into your app store and see if there's any new updates for a specific app where you are seeing the unresponsive screen. So make sure to update your apps. The companies behind all those apps always try to make sure to fix all the misbehaving fi uh, problems in their apps so they tend to update their apps quite often so update your apps in here in the app store just simply go down here and you can either update one app at a time or you can say update all uh, apps that is of course up to you one last thing is also about the unresponsive screen but also when you see weird colors on your ipad and seeing misbehaving screen then sometimes the uh, com components inside the ipad i have a old ipad right here uh, that sometimes have issues with the screen so one thing that you can do with misbehaving screen is to gently try and touch the back of your iPad because sometimes you are able to press the components inside your iPad back into place 
and that can act sometimes actually resolve an screen that is not showing the right colors or not is is not responding to your tabs then gently touch the back of your ipad make sure that the screen is on something that is not damaging the screen uh, so just gently press the back on your ipad and see if that can actually solve the problem i've seen that quite a few times that uh, we get a screen that is actually working as it should that was all the tips and tricks that i had for for you today i hope that you could use some of those tips and if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions just drop it in the comments section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible that was all for today thanks and see you soon